Hello everybody and welcome back to Rebellious Menstruation. Today we are looking at, um, kind of as a companion piece to Bamboo is Not the Solution. Um, this video is on the inflated costs of sustainable items. That because it is popular to be sustainable, it becomes an industry in and of itself that behind the scenes are not actually all about sustainability but about consumption. While environmental sustainability is vital for the future, the fact that it has become a new luxury marketing miracle for brands and has in fact created brands explicitly orientated towards selling these products such as straws, tumblers, bottles, cutlery and fashion, um, this is probably predictably obvious as consumer demands drive business models turning greener and towards more eco initiatives. The internet especially is a cultural catacomb of is a cultural catacomb representing the ever evolving and mutating cultural boundaries and borders, allowing choices and opinion and options to grow, compete and change. This, of course, has also allowed sustainability to become a disingenuous term as capitalistic tendencies co-opt the term for greenwashing purposes. The immutable reality is that Earth will very soon get to a point where it cannot sustain the life upon it. And to reduce that ecological reality to a turtle saving straw disregards completely the intersection between environment, culture, society and ethical values, all of which interact and cannot be addressed individually. While startups are created with often ethical values and the revitalization of communities and neighborhoods is eco-efficient and optioned um, with the walk, bike, a vegan ethos that is becoming quite popular, these places are capitalistic in design for the socio-economic advantaged, economically advantaged, and often not for the poor. And in the end, perpetuates the same brutality brutally efficient economic structure of cat capitalism that is still massively inequitable and environmentally harmful. Often the creation of business startups um, rely uh, upon intense labour demands that are more often than not considered lower in initial environmental impacts stemming mostly from a gross misunderstanding and devaluation of and on agriculture and manufacturing, and a far high consideration on design, creative design, business ownership, education and knowledge. While these considerations often, um, apart from the traditional white versus blue collar argument, ignore the devastating impact of technology in creating these online eco empires, hoarding electric and electricity resources to survive. Um, high tech online and internet based companies are not more or less eco friendly than bricks and mortar stores and energy resources saved by increased efficiency usually means that bonuses are pushed back into growth. The destruction becomes cyclic in this environment as more efficiency and eco-friendliness means more use, consumption and functionality becomes cheaper. Again, this increases use and consumption, making this deceptive and ecologically devastating. However, the destruction of this capitalist leaning um, of sustainability is um, the low impact and low waste movements. Um, 
so kind of the little house movement um, about living with less and consuming consciously. The difficulty within this is to move through the quagmire of business and companies that greenwash to find those that are indeed actually ethical and to look at the environment as a global situation and not simply as a local one. To look past the cultural differences, the country and border divides, to notice when issues slip out of balance. Like the global demand for bamboo and avocado creating monocrops and the destruction and devastation of biodiversity within these areas and skill sets. There is still often a neglect for the bigger global picture to focus on the local. So a lot of low impact and low waste movements encourage you to focus on the local only. That the local is the only item of consideration that matters. When in fact biodiversity is an international issue as all of our biodiversity affects other by it's like a knock-on it's like a domino effect so many considerations that look outward and in, um, internally uh, would be necessary to help sustainability and assist it in escaping from an alternative aim and into the main stream to only look locally and ignore the worldwide impact is as bad as ignoring the local to focus only on the global impact. Thanks for watching and enjoy your morning, afternoon or evening, depending, of course, where you all are in the day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.